What's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. I thought I'd do these videos now. So every single day you guys are going to get a Bitcoin video and a Litecoin video. They'll probably be a little bit similar. But for individuals who go on YouTube and search for Bitcoin videos and whatnot, not, they might not watch both videos. So it'll be intriguing for a lot of people and it'll hopefully actually help a lot of people. So guys, if you do enjoy these videos, all I ask is you guys smash that like button. It really, really, really does help. Smash the like button and, subs and subscribe because I do this every single day for you guys. I don't know a single YouTuber who does two videos a day, trend analysis or um, a project every single day for you guys. I don't know anybody who does it. So please smash that like button and subscribe. So let's get in with it. Bitcoin on the weekly. You can see that we actually have respected a lot of these channels that I've actually drawn, a lot of these resistance lines that I've drawn. You can see right here, we actually did it perfectly right here and we dropped. I'm just showing you guys these, we selected here and we dropped. And now I'm thinking that we might actually come back up to 44,600 to retest the, the um, 40 weekly and then drop. That's what I'm thinking, okay, guys? I'll show you why I'm thinking that in the lower time frames as well. Right now, we actually are respecting this um, neckline of this head and shoulders. You can see right here that we actually have, um, technically, if you do want to not go on the wicks, we have officially broken out but i always go for the wicks like you like you're always aware so we're actually testing it i think if we do break below forty thousand, then that will be an actual um break okay that will be a head and shoulders break and our target will be twenty thousand dollars full so that will be about uh, it will be a big drop okay i'm just gonna say it'll be, it'll be in the 20s it'll be about here um but yeah we'll check that out after let's go to the daily guys what can we see why is that there like that big squiggle doesn't look very professional so we can see right now that we have actually tried to break upwards and we failed. So we can so we've obviously understood that these EMAs, the 15 and the four uh 15 and the and the 50, sorry, for, um EMAs are actually very strong resistance for price movement currently. And that's obviously simply because volume is lower, we actually don't have enough momentum to break out upwards. That's also shown right here. Okay? You can see it right here. So we were trying to push up, trying, trying, and failed. Okay, I'm showing you guys this because it's important for you guys to know what our resistance points actually are. And at the moment, our resistance points are these EMAs, okay? Um, and you can see that here again, we tried and we failed. So um, I drew this um, support zone a while back simply just because of this big wick that we had. We literally bounced off this wick with so much momentum and so much volume that we pushed all the way from 42,000, just under 50,000. So that was an $8,000 price movement just from touching this zone. So I know that that is a very, very strong support. We did briefly fall below it, very, very briefly. But as you can see, we actually currently bought it back up. Um, I think that right now we could see a price pump. Let's go to the full hourly. We could see a price pump upwards to 44,600 in my opinion okay if we do manage to break above this green EMA the 15 EMA on the debt on the full hourly which we're currently not been able to do we tried breaking up it here and we failed instantly so we know that the bears are selling as soon as we try and break up the bulls are trying in this area to break upwards it's not currently working okay you can see even here we had a falling um, flag and we have broken out of it but it's we haven't got the volume we want. We currently got a retest on it, so we could actually come back up. Um, our target will obviously be um, the red EMA, so that would obviously be a target of 43,000, about 700 ish. Um, right now, I'm thinking that if we do actually flip this as support, this um, support zone, we could literally see a $44,621 Bitcoin as a price, price point. I'm saying no higher simply because that's on the weekly, okay? That's the weekly EMA. So that is a very, very strong resistance, okay, guys? So I want you guys to know that if we do come here, I'd potentially be looking for shorts, okay? Because Bitcoin has been failing to actually break out of any strong resistance zones. So if we do come up here, I think we could see price just mess about with it and then drop, okay? That's if we even get there, but then we still have to break up above the 15 and the 50, okay? And we've got resistance here as well. So a lot of things are pointing to the downside. So I want to show you guys what happens if we do fall down, okay? Because that's a whole nother ball game. So right now, we can, you can even see that we've got a little double bottom here, okay? If we come up here, you can technically see that this is a triangle pattern, okay? Or you can say a rising wedge, yeah, okay? But I'd 
but I'd stick with triangle because if price does move a bit more, it would be a triangle, okay? This would actually take price downwards, okay? The target of this would actually be where my zone is. So this is about 39,000. If we do hit this $39,000 level, that is below the neckline that we have drawn on our big head and shoulders. That's why I've got this on there. That's why I've drawn this on there. It is a very, very, very key level for us to actually know for Bitcoin, okay? But I'll show you right now. Let's go to a daily. Here's our head and shoulders. Okay, you can see that very clearly, right guys? Right here, right here. And you can see that this is the point that we need to break to actually flip and drop all the way down to 32,000 as a minimum, okay? If we do hit that 30, break out of this with a, like I'm telling you guys, if we break past this $40,000 level, there's going to be a lot of selling pressure because $40,000 is a very psychological point. It's a nice number. People will start selling. There'll be a lot of sell orders triggered on that number as well. So people will just start, will just start tanking. Okay, we might have that quick pick up to get all the um, short trades out of the market and then we could drop again. Okay, that's what, that's what I'm looking for. That's honestly what I'm looking for, guys. I think that if we do actually um, come up here, we do come down like this, hang around here, and we drop down to 37, I think we're going to come back up. Everyone's going to think, oh, buy here, buy here, buy here. People are going to start buying, and then we're going to drop again. That's what I think is going to happen personally, okay, guys? So I called it here. That's what I think is going to happen. With the current actual index of the market, with the stock market falling, with all the um, macro environment issues going on with oil, with um, inflation, with the Fed, with the news of the Fed coming out on the January 18th, with the Fed's papers saying they're going to in, um, increase interest rates to, to help pay off for the amount of money they've printed for COVID, with COVID currently right now, the new variants popping out, um, if lockdown occurs again, there's a lot of things pushing price to actually go downwards. So that's why I'm trying to be, I, 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 I do want to be a bull in this market, guys. But right now, Smart traders know that to follow the market, you don't you, you don't go against the market. You, have, you you try and be as smart as you can and try and follow what you can. Okay, guys. So if we do flip these um, EMAs, then I think we can actually have a small pump upwards, try and get a bit of profit there. However, if we do come down a bit more, I think that we could be falling. Okay, I want to say that to you guys right now. Um, if we go to the hourly, what can we see? Um, I and I I, I I usually work my way downwards or upwards, guys. So you can start on the 15 minute, go up to the weekly, or start from the weekly and go down to the 15 minute, just like I'm doing for you guys right now. Um, I do this just so we can see where any key resistance points are on the lower time frames, okay? Because we can see here there's a lot more. So we can see that we're just hanging around this zone over here, okay? And you can see that we're hanging around this zone over here. So you can see that uh, we're just consolidating, really, and we're finding some resistance just over here, okay? Resistance is at 42,500, okay? You can see that right here. And right now, we are currently about to cross over on the hourly time frame. So that's the, that, see what I mean? That's a bit bullish on our side. So obviously, for us to actually break above the 4-hour 15 EMA, these, these will have to cross. This will give us a bit of momentum, actually push upwards, okay? And then obviously, what we're going to be hit with over here, guys, the 4-hour 50 EMA, the red one, remember? Then we have to break above that. If we fail to break above that, we will be coming back down, okay? But as you can see right now, we are literally, we're just like a little spring, we're building up momentum over here, getting some more as well, and we're ready to spring off either upwards or spring off downwards, okay? That's what it looks like, right? It looks like we're coiling up. Can you see that? It's like we're coiling up to actually have a big move up or big move down. So look out for that, guys. See what's actually going to happen, okay? On the 15 minute, why can't I delete that? Um, there we go, delete, delete, on the 15 minute, yeah, the 15 minute, okay, look, so usually you don't really need to draw anything on the 15 minute, you don't need to go to the wicks either because of how small the price movement is, Um, I will draw it up here actually, personally I will draw it up about here, okay, Um, I'll show you in a sec what I've drawn guys, so go to all the major support levels there we go so right now you can see that this this is actually a very big bullish pattern so if you go to the hourly you'll see it on the hourly as well let's go to the hourly that's what i drew for you guys as a, as a big coil pattern but usually typically this would break to the upside okay but we broke into the downside that's not anything bad nothing to worry about right there it's because of this massive um, support zone we're just trading within it at the moment 
Um, if we do actually try and break up and fail, then we will come downwards, okay? Target would be right here, about $40,500. So right now, basically, guys, what I'm trying to say to you is the thing to watch is if we do break above $42,800 above this high, you, you can actually start to look for trades to actually go for this target, okay? Or maybe even to be extra safe, that four-hour um, EMA, target that and nothing else, okay? And then you can start looking for short trades. Um, I don't think we're going to get above this level right now simply because of how strong support um, resistance is and how strong selling pressure is. I think that we are most likely looking to come downwards. But I just wanted to do this video for you guys so you guys actually see the price targets for where Bitcoin actually should be going, could be going, and where you might see it in the short term. A big thank you to you guys watching. Please smash that like button for me and subscribe so you don't miss another video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.